Barbara Logino, I'm manager of Steinway and Sons for Connecticut Operations. And this is my home base here in Connecticut. We cover the entire state. And this is the only place to officially buy an authentic Steinway instrument. Um, I love my position. I get to not only deal with the retail side of things for Steinway, but I also maintain this show, the, the recital room here in the showroom. We have had people perform here as young as three years of age and as old as 93 years of age. And we've had professionals, people that are top of the line, and also local young talent, like the young woman and her sibling that you have today. I want to tell you a little bit about Rachel. Several years ago, when the show was brand new, this little girl came in to visit me after school quite frequently with her grandmother. Her grandmother said, I don't understand it. I asked to take her to the toy store. I asked to take her to Friendly's after she gets off the school bus, but she just wants to see pianos. So I said, it's a delight for her anytime she'd like to come in. And I could tell just from the little bit that she was playing that this child really had ability. She had a tremendous ear. She had tremendous expressive ability, and it was a real thrill to see her. So I've watched her grow. Three years ago, Rachel came in and said, I'd like to talk to you. Can I have a minute of your time? She said, I have a relative who's passed away from leukemia, and I'm really sad about it. I believe it was her great-grandfather, was it? And she said, do you mind if I have a little concert and invite some friends and take the money and give it to the leukemia people for research so that no other family will have to go through what we've gone through? I said, absolutely. So we got together and we formulated the concept of Rachel having a solo concert here. It was a tremendous success. And to see a young woman that I had seen, watched grow up, take the stage with poise and confidence at only 14, I believe she was at the time, and actually put her whole heart and soul into something like that was truly beautiful because Rachel's an exceptionally good player. She's not the top player in her age group probably in the world, but she is a very good performer. And she developed her talent, but then wanted to use that talent in a really productive way to help other people, which was really beautiful. The following year, she called me and said, I'd like to do it again, and I'd like to do it for something that means something to you. So I said, would you do it for Crohn's and colitis? Because I have a young nephew that we almost lost to the disease with two major surgeries when he you know, was passed on us during the surgery. And we're very concerned about him. She said, absolutely. I mean, Crohn's and colitis people were here. They were thrilled with what she did. And again, it was an amazing success financially. So this year, she decided, and she will talk more about this, that she wanted to dedicate her concert to pancreatic cancer research. And she has a specific person that she'll tell you a little bit more about. It's a thrill for me in this position to work with somebody like a Rachel, because there are many kids who'd love to give a concert, but they want it for themselves. They want it for their own ego. They want people to see how wonderful they are. Rachel is the antithesis of that. Rachel wants to do it because she wants to make something good of what she's accomplished and good for other people, which is an amazing thing. If all the world were made up of Rachel's, we would all be in a better place. I'd like to introduce Rachel and watch how she's grown. Thank you. Thank you so much. 